here we are with Cairo. Now Cairo, this is his first year, so he's just about to start John Deere Ag Tech program with Western Equipment. So Cairo, tell us how your first mentorship summer went with Western Equipment. It went really great. Honestly, I got to meet some really great people here. A lot of good co-workers to work with. Just amazing experience all around. So now tell me a little bit about, I mean, this is the, the ag industry was new to you before coming in here, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me some of the things that may surprise you or you weren't expecting about the ag industry. The use of hydraulics. The use of hydraulics here is very key and boring. You know, there's a C, as SCVs, you know, the PTO, and then the transmission and the hydraulic pump share the same oil. So that was me, something very new to me. So that was very, a new experience. So what's your journey, Cairo, to this point in your career so far? I mean, what were you doing before you decide, you know what, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna take this career change to be an ag tech and a, and a technician with Western Public? Well, bef before I was working here, I was a helper over there in Dalhart in a company called Rides Classics. And well, I always wanted to attend diesel mechanic school. So when I heard about the program, I was, well, I mean, if this program offers you a job right after you graduate, then why not take it? You know, it's, it's an advantage that anyone could take advantage of. So just why not take it? You know, go, go full, go in for the ride. After being in the ag, around the ag industry, because you're around the automotive for a little bit uh, before coming here. So tell us a little bit about the differences that you've seen between automotive. Because someone watching this video may, have, may be coming from the automotive. I mean, what are you seeing some of the differences? Differences, obviously the hydraulic is one. Majority of here, all, basically all tractors run on diesel. And um, that's just pretty much the main difference, I'd say. So now, what equipment, after being around all this big equipment, I mean, in this shop, we've got forage harvesters and combines and sprayers and four wheel drives and road crop tractors. Out of all these, all this equipment so far this summer, which one have you liked the most being around? So far is the the nine series tractors, the big, okay. these big old yeah, the monster ones. behind right. ones. That's what do you one. like most about those? What? Well, just, I don't, I don't know, just, just big, uh, just big. Just big. big. <laughs> awesome. What do you, so now here, you're, you're, you're going to go to school here in a few days, okay, to start. Tell us a little bit about the feeling you're feeling right now. Well, nervous, obviously, yeah. you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit far away from home, so it's just something to get used to, you know, of course, being with my, the same classmates, getting used to them, the instructors, how they are, the environment, so that's just something new to get used to, so I'm looking forward to that. The person watching this video may be looking to get into the program, right? They may be uncertain. They may be a person that never, you know, you had some pri prior mechanical experience before coming here, but let's say someone doesn't. Let's say, man, they may be in an ag class, but they, man, I want to work with my hands, and being a technician, I know it's a good, solid job. Is this for them? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, this is a very, very beginner friendly. I mean, if you get with the right person, they, they could teach you everything that they know, and then that's what is really great. Like they won't punish you for not just knowing how to do an oil change, you know? It's just, I mean, everyone has, everyone's different, so why, you know, why be, I guess, rude about that, you know? What would you say that, you know, for someone coming into the shop, right, you're one of the young, youngest ones in the shop, right? Mm -hmm. What do they, what kind of mentality do they need to have to come into the shop and be successful, right? Because you're, you're working around a lot of, you know, grown men that raise their families on doing this, you know, as a career, but what kind of mentality do you need to have coming in? Well, there's a, a sharp mentality, a very mature mentality. It, you know, if you wanted to work here, I mean, you can't really just, you know, goof around and such so having a really a straight mindset like hey i'm here to work you know that's obviously the mentality that you not need on your have. phone not yeah, TikTok not phone. Word. yeah pretty much <laughs> just you know just be just mature all around you know? awesome well i can't i know you're excited to go to school and i can't <laughs> wait for you to go to school experience that i can't wait to see you back here uh, this next summer to see all you've learned yes sir